I think we're going to need a bigger boat. No, we don't need a bigger boat. I think we need a bigger boat. No, we do not need a bigger boat. We're going to need a bigger boat. We do not need <laughs> a bigger boat. We got a bigger boat. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is the Mud Guy. I see, I'm the Mud Guy. I'm the Bear. And uh, we want to welcome you to a new episode of Bench Time with the Bear. We're going to do a couple reveals on this show, a little bit of an update. It's been a while since we've had the Bear on, so uh, we thought we'd wrap up her Bench Time with the Bear show with uh, one big update. This is a reveal. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a reveal right here. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to thank you and welcome to all the new subs and viewers. We're growing. We're at 3,600 plus subs, and we're enjoying that. So welcome everybody, and I uh, hope you enjoy the show. Hello. Uh, first up, the, uh, I got a new boat. I've actually had this for a little while. Hello. And, <laughs> and uh, I actually bought this last fall. I had it, on, I got it on sale. And you uh, would be surprised at the nooks and crannies that we have in this house. Yeah, that I can, <laughs> I can hide something like this. And I finally got it out of the box and I want to get this thing ready to go so we can start shooting some boat videos. Uh, so what do you think, Bear? There's nobody in there. No, there's nobody in there. Uh, we could maybe try to fit somebody in there. It has a clear canopy. This is a, an Atomic ARC ARC 58-inch race. Well, basically what ARC stands for is Atomic Race Catamaran. It's 58-inch 50, boat, dual hull, like a catamaran, uh, really fast, brushless powered, uses uh, six-cell LiPo batteries. So what do you think? Do you keep the, How do you keep them waterproof? Uh, well, when this hatch here, I'm going to tape it down. When, oh. I, when, I, when I run it, but I don't know. I mean, I'm sure some moisture will get in there. Uh, so you just don't want to sink it. I have styrofoam up front. So if something would happen, if it would roll or something like that, it would, it would still float. Oh, that uh, makes sense. I don't have a retrieval boat because we're going to go out on kayak, either that or a full-scale mm -hmm. boat. So that, that's what I'll use to get this if we have any problems. But uh, So why, why do you think I got a big boat? This is a 58-inch long boat. We couldn't fit it in the whole shot. We'll show some other shots so you can see exactly what it looks like. Why do I think you got a big boat? Yeah. It's a family show. <laughs> it's a family show. Uh, you know why I got a big boat? Why did you get a big boat? Well, basically, I wanted a boat that was bigger than Mr. RC Fanatic's boat. He has a 54-inch boat, and mine's 58-inch, so you know what they Ooh. say about guys with big boats. Hey, now. But, uh, <laughs> no, seriously. I wanted to get a catamaran. I, I like deep V holes, but I wanted to get a catamaran because I want to uh, mount some GoPros to here and get some really cool. What, what's that? Is it a catamaran because it's a flat bottom? No, it has two. It has two. It's it's like a catamaran, like a like a sailboat catamaran it has two holes basically. Oh. So it's really really stable, uh, but it doesn't turn like a like a deep V. It's uh, it's like more of a platform than it is something that kind of cuts through the water, but really good for high speed and hydroplaning. Just not so good on turns, but. Well, we have nice long. Places. Oh, our, our our lake our lake is smooth as glass some days, and that's what I, I I plan on going out when real calm waters and getting some really nice shots and mounting uh, the GoPro to this. So it's it, the, the catamaran is very stable platform for that. Where are you gonna put it up top? Oh, I I think I'm gonna have a suction cup in the back, maybe in these black areas, put some mounts uh, just to try to get some different angles. I want to record from the kayak. I want to record from our full scale boat. I want to record from the boat itself. So I'm just gonna try to bring some really cool. Uh, boat videos to you. There's not a whole lot out there for the Atomic, the uh, the racing catamaran, but you know, I, I'm going to change it. I want to, this is going to be my, my boat, I think forever. I mean, it's a fiberglass hull. Uh, you know, I don't, as long as I take care of it, I don't really see anything happening to it. Um, you know, I can always switch out the, uh, the electrical system if something goes wrong with that, but it's really big. I bought it. Yeah, it is a big boat. I bought it RTR. So I do need one more three cell pack. I have one and I have to buy another one and then I can get this. I have some electrical work I need to do and put the propeller on and stuff like that. So I, ha I have a little bit more prep work I need to do, but hopefully There's we no can. Propeller. No, it's, it's in the box yet. I have to put that on. Oh, okay. It came like this for shipping, but this is the first look. And uh, I have a little bit more work to do, and then we'll get some good boat videos. So that's the uh, Atomic uh, Race Catamaran right there. 58-inch boat. And uh, look forward to that in the future. So what else do you want to show everybody today? Honey? Funny you should ask, Bear. <laughs> I, have a, I have a buddy of mine. I'll, I'll give you a little bit of an intro to this. I have a buddy of mine. Uh, he has a channel on YouTube, Rustler VXL09, and he, uh, he, he made me a custom RC trailer. Nuh uh Yes, he did. And uh, he's been dying for me to unbox it. I've had it for a few weeks now, but we were busy and I wanted to unbox it on a bench time with the bear show because that's where we tried to do our reveals. And uh, I have it right here. So, you know, let's dig this into this box. This is quite the reveal day. <laughs> 
So, and I, I, I wanted him to see my reaction. So I kept it in the package. So I have no idea what this looks like. I, I well, yeah, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. And okay. uh, he, he, he told me he, he works in metal shop. He's in high school. Yeah, he, he has he works in metal shop, and he wanted Aww. to get into <laughs> he wanted to get into making RC trailers. So I gave him. Uh, he, he has a standard one that he makes. He made it for a couple friends, and this is uh, one that I requested. That's a little bit different than what he normally makes, and I want to see how well he did on my commission here, so. So how do you, can I ask a, a, a potentially girl question? You can ask any question you want. This how is the bench time with hair. How do you attach it to the car? Well, I don't really have anything that can pull this right now. Oh. And uh, so we're gonna have to, uh, it's gonna be a display item, and it kind of is just gonna be a shelf queen for me. Uh, but it's, it's a scale item. And if I can ever, <laughs> there's a lot of cardboard here. Why don't we take a? We're gonna cut. We're gonna cut to the chase. Starting to see what it looks like, and it looks really, really nice. I'm impressed. Yeah. Once again, this is my buddy Joey. Joey Mazza, Rustler VXL. Nice. Joey, if you're watching, comment below, and people can find out. Wow. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Look at that. No that way. <laughs> That is really, really nice. That is beautiful. I don't know if there's anything in there. Okay, let's see if we can get that box out of the way. And look at that. Wow. That is really, really nice. That is really nice. There might be something else in the, the box there. Let's see if I can... Uh... Oh, and he has stickers. It's a sticker! Oops. <laughs> so... Here it, here it is. This is, uh, and, and I'm overwhelmed. This is just absolutely beautiful. And it comes with these little ramps in the back. And uh, here, let's get an RC and we'll put it on there and see what it looks like. We'll get the wraith. All right. So. That is. It neat. is really good. I'm impressed, Joey. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't, you know, I, I don't know what, what Joey's plans are. Uh, to make these for the public, you'd have to contact him, talk to him about that. But I am just overwhelmed with the quality of this uh, this trailer, this custom trailer. Oh, so, you're gonna get some good close-ups of this. Oh, we will, we will, we will. So anyway, that's my you know two two newest toys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the reveal on those. I'm really speechless right now. This is just amazing that a kid in high school could do this kind of quality work. I mean, it's just when I when I commissioned it. I, I was not expecting this. This is just absolutely amazing. Very, very heavy duty, and I'm gonna keep this forever. I mean, this is this is just amazing. So, yeah. Once again, Rustler VXL09. Comment below, and uh, we will. Uh, people can get a hold of you that way. If he's still, if if you're, Joe, if you're still interested in making custom trailers, uh, I, I this is great. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. I asked for a wood deck, which looks really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, the ramps, the wheels. Very, very heavy duty. I mean, this thing will, I think the kids could probably ride on this. <laughs> Take it downhill or something. Yeah, very, very pretty trailer. So, uh, well, that's it for the reveals. We have one announcement to make. Uh, What's your announcement? Well, we're going to put the Wraith up on the auction block. This one? This Wraith right here. Yeah, we're going to sell the Wraith. And, uh, hmm. yeah, well, he here's the reason. I'm going to gamble. Uh, a new RC just came out. The Axial Yeti. I don't know if you guys have seen that. I think you most of you have. You told me about that. Yes, the Yeti has come out, and it looks really, really cool. And I love my Wraith, but I really think the, Redi the, the Yeti could be my new favorite RC. So uh, I am on a budget, so I think to get that, I <laughs> the bear pretty much said you got to trade one for the other. I didn't know it was going to be this so, one, though. So, no, no. We're going to sell the Wraith. We're going to put it up on the auction block, and it's it's been a great car. And I like it. I'm not getting rid of it because I dislike it. I'm just taking a little bit of a gamble here. And I'm going to try to trade this for something I think could be even cooler, which so is the Axial Yeti. you're going to put it on eBay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be on eBay. Uh, if you're watching this, which is June 30th, 20, 29th, 30, 29th, 30th, whatever. It's, we're, it's going to be up for a week. Uh, I always thought it's kind of cheesy 29th. to advertise RCs for sale on your YouTube channel. But here it is. Uh, I'll have a full description in the eBay listing and uh it it's yeah i I'm, I'm hoping that we can i have a lot of rc projects that need money so we're just going to try to cash in on the wraith and get the yeti 
and uh, I need like I, I need another battery for the boat. So we're just gonna try to generate a little bit of cash, and uh, hopefully the uh, the race brings in some bucks. And that's uh, that's pretty much it for this show. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Our big update uh, for the future: we're gonna try to get outside and shoot some more track videos. The kids are really working hard on their uh, on their little rock track. And uh, we want to do some two-wheel drive action on, on our regular track. I know there's a lot of uh, uh, stuff that we, we, we want to do, we want to get to, and a lot of videos we want to make. And we'll do our best to bring them to you. So uh, till then, stay tuned. I'm the Mud Guy. I'm Bear. Have fun.